Welcome to MacBook for Dummies. In this course, I'm going to teach you all about the MacBook, from browsing the internet, to using email, to playing music and video, and much, much more. Currently, there are two types of MacBooks. There's the MacBook Air, a lightweight notebook which is powerful enough for most applications. Then there's the MacBook Pro, with a faster processor and a higher capacity battery. Each of these MacBooks comes in different configurations of memory and display size. Everything you will learn in this course will apply to both MacBook models. With any computer like the MacBook, there are two components, the hardware and the software. Think of the hardware as the actual machine. It's got memory to run applications, disk to store files, a screen, a keyboard, a trackpad, and more. The software are the applications that allow you to use the hardware to do useful things, like check your email, browse the internet, play a video, or update your calendar. There's a collection of software that works behind the scenes to help you interact with the hardware, such as using your keyboard or using your trackpad. It also manages things like your display, your memory, and other parts of the hardware. This resource managing software is called an operating system. Your MacBook comes with a very powerful operating system called OS X. Apple has included many useful applications along with OS X, including a web browser, an email reader, a contacts manager, and much, much more. Each time Apple releases a major version of their operating system, they give it a number and a name. As of the time of this video, the current version of the operating system is 10.8, called Mountain Lion. In MacBook for Dummies, I'm going to start with a brief look at the hardware and then dive into the basics, such as how to move around the virtual desktop and how to use the keyboard and trackpad. Then I'll go into much more detail about creating, sharing, and searching for files and folders. I'll walk you through browsing the internet, calendars and contacts, email, messaging, and Apple's video chat feature called FaceTime. Of course, I'll be covering all of the other things you can do with your MacBook, such as playing music and video and viewing and editing photos. I'll conclude with a look at how to maintain and troubleshoot your Mac and how to install Windows on your Mac. A lot of material. So without further ado, I present MacBook for Dummies.